There are some new things going on with Instagram, and if you are a business owner, you're going to want to know about them because they are going to change how you act on Instagram a lot in the coming months. So let's get right into it. This first one might not apply to all of you business owners, but it is really cool regardless, and you have to be aware of this stuff because even if you haven't considered joining the NFT space, that is what is coming to Instagram and uh, whether you get it or not, because I'll be honest, that's been one of those things, even though I'm like a forward thinking person who's gotten into crypto, I still don't really fully get NFTs, or at least I don't see them as super important right now. But I could see how there's pretty much no denying how they would be really important in the future as the world moves more and more digital. I mean, who knows, maybe we could... Uh, all of a sudden reach our point with technology where humanity's fed up with it and we say, let's just go back out into nature, screw our phones. But uh, that's not what it's looking like just because of the, you know, the iPad babies and next we're going to have the VR babies and they're just going to grow up with technology. Hey, I'm getting off a tangent here, but you can't really de deny technology. It is usually going to just keep going forward. And this is just a way that people can display their digital collectibles. So they're launching NFTs to more users right now. Uh, so they've been slowly rolling it out like they do with all uh, of their new features. And there's no fees. Sharing NFTs is free on Instagram. You just have to actually own the NFT, which is cool because if you could just find them online and, and post them, it wouldn't be good at all, right? So you actually have to sync your MetaMask or uh, you know some trust wallet, Coinbase wallet. If you don't know what those are, those are just uh, wallets for cryptocurrency, and you can also hold NFTs in them, and then it would actually actually validate that you had the NFT before you could post it. The other thing that's going to be really cool about this, and honestly, this is probably going to be the biggest breakthrough for just the NFT market overall is the ability to share it with people because it is a status buy in a way, and then it's also an investment buy. But in order for it to really be sustainable, it has to be both. If it's just an investment buy, like a bunch of these you know, shit coins, as they call them, uh, the non-Bitcoin coins that have like no use case value, but they're pump and dumps, that's what I should have said, uh, you know, they're pump and dumps where the coin and the product behind it, there's really nothing going on there, uh, whether they're not really solving a problem for the world or they're not the team that's equipped to do it. They're just, you know, going under the guise of this new company that you should invest in. And then it just pumps up and then uh, the stakeholders or whoever just sells and it's just, uh, you know, a worthless crypto project to invest in. Uh, in order for NFTs to become less of that, where you're buying these 8-bit uh, pixel photos and they're just you know there's nothing special about it it was created in half an hour and you're spending two million dollars on these nfts that aren't even like good art uh it's gonna have to become more of amazing art and nfts the thing that uh, artists have the ability to do is to like animate it and to really make it look special i actually have seen some nfts out there that is next level digital art. So as this next level digital art hits the scene and can be posted on Instagram, you should really see the value of people owning NFTs going up. And I would think that these posts would probably get a boost based on how they usually do things. So it might be a reason to potentially get an NFT and post one on here or start thinking about how your company might get into the space. I will say though, the reason why I myself has not been like, oh, how can I get NFTs into my business or I haven't been promoting it to everyone is a lot of people are running businesses right now where you're still trying to figure out Instagram and TikTok or just even what your offer is, trying to optimize your website. So if you were to put making an NFT for your business over these things, it's probably not a good idea when you don't have like cash flow already coming into your business. So uh, that's why I haven't really been bullish on telling a lot of my podcast listeners because a lot of you guys are newer business owners that you have to get into NFTs. Like if, if you know you should, then you probably already did it by now. So uh, this is just a very interesting feature that is being slowly rolled out. Second one is going to be the biggest feature uh, to everyone uh, on Instagram, whether you're a personal user or a business user, 9 by 16 vertical photos are coming to Instagram. 
Now, it's been no secret that reels have like really taken over in the last couple months, really, like six months, I'd say, even though they've been around for over two years now, they've really just started owning the feed. And it really was the introduction of reels on the regular feed before you would have to uh, go to the reels tab or actually what it was is they would display four by five on the regular feed. Now they display like nine by 16 basically already. It's more like nine by 14 or nine by 15. It's basically the entire vertical screen when you're scrolling through the feed, when you see a reel and then you can click it to maximize it. But it's so big, it takes up so much real estate that next to all of these images, which are either one by one or four by five, aren't nearly as big on the screen. For those of you listening on the podcast, if you want to switch over to YouTube, I've got it linked below so you can actually see visuals of what I'm talking about right now. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to give you the ability to post a nine by 16 photo that will take up the entire feed. So when people are scrolling down, they will be forced to give it their attention. It won't just be like this little square that they can quickly scroll past. And the images will look a lot better that way. You'll be able to do a lot higher definition. And uh, there's just a lot more room to play with. You can even do side images still. Uh, and maybe I, I would recommend posting a photo that it would be posted portrait on the phone, but it's landscape style. And it would make it so people have to turn their phone it would be a way that I, I could see hacking the algorithm to make people take a little bit of extra time on your post. And then Instagram not really knowing like, dang, like everyone's like spending a lot of time on this post because they tilt it over, they might zoom in on it. So I think that might be a strategy that I would recommend applying for you photographers, even though it might post a little bit weird. Uh, I think it actually would uh, be one of those things that could still do really well, especially because a lot of photographers do like to film uh, in, or take pictures in landscape mode rather than portrait. And uh, make sure you use portrait mode. If you have an iPhone, uh, I don't know if Android has their comparison mode to this, but it's basically a mode that hyper focuses on the subject. Portrait mode is a great way to look like you're an amazing photo taker and, uh, and you know get some really cool 9x16 photos out. So that will be really, really big. And then the last one that is pretty much already rolled out entirely is uh, new Instagram Reels templates and dual features. So um, the, may, mostly I'm just going to talk about the templates here. But when you go to post a Reel, you can now click on the template. And a lot of times when you're scrolling through your Reels feed, if you look at the bottom left, you'll actually see it says use templates sometimes. So if someone uses a template and you see that Reel, it will suggest to you to use that template. And it's really cool because everyone knows about those Reels where it plays a song and then it just goes through like 20 photos, right? It's somewhat some influencer that stacks like 20 photos and the song like has a sound or like a beat that's just like ba 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 ba, and then they just have a photo go with every sound, right? So <laughs> probably should get like an example plan for you guys, but hopefully that makes sense. And if you want to make one of those templates, rather than making a reel where you are just adding all of these individual point one second clips and it takes forever to make, they want content creation to be easier. They want more people being able to post a lot faster, a lot easier and create quality content. So they're doing as much as they can about it and they should have been doing this a long time ago. It should have been their focus because this was the entire focus of TikTok is how can we make it easy for people with low skill sets to still create amazing content with the features that we give them and Instagram is doing that and this template thing is really smart. I haven't been on TikTok in a minute, so I don't know if templates is the thing on there, but I don't think it is. And this is probably their best move. If it is an original idea from them, this is the best uh, content creation uh, vehicle that they've given creators uh, probably ever just because it's such a really cool, uh, it saves a ton of time and it gives people a lot of ideas. And most importantly, is for those of those people that are trying to get on reels that don't know how to do video yet, whether it's filming them on camera or just video at all, and they're just a big fan of taking pictures, this allows them to easily play the reels game with their photos. So check out the templates, and it's just a lot of individual clips where we'll say like add a video here, or add a photo here, and uh, you'll just play around with it and just insert it into the template, and then it'll already have a song matching up with it, and these should do really well because Instagram already knows that these templates do well and they uh, look good and they 
you know, match up with the song and, you know, everything's all systems go. So there's already enough trust that Instagram has of the posts that use these templates on reels that if this is your style and you, you can use them, this is uh, probably going to get you a lot of extra views than you're used to using one of these templates. That's what I've got for you today. For those of you who are not already, consider subscribing. I come out with Instagram updates, but also very unique Instagram marketing information. Instagram advertising is the main thing that my company helps people with. For those of you looking to get started with meta ads, so Facebook and Instagram ads, my specialty is helping people run their first profitable meta ads campaign. I'm just getting used to saying that, so excuse me, that's why I think it's kind of funny. Their first profitable meta ads campaign, and I walk you through the entire process so that by the end of it, you can run profitable ads for yourself. So if that's a program you'd like to consider uh, talking about, you can book a call with me, or you can get my free course that I'll also link in the description that will give you my template to how I recommend uh, a business structure their ads at the beginning, because that's the main reason why I specialize it and it is that I have a very specific template for businesses to do this a lot more effectively than you know just running a sale on your product or trying to send people down to a funnel or send them directly to your website like most people do, and it doesn't work out that well. So if you're sick of spending money on ads unprofitably, get that course or hey, just book me on a phone call and we'll just talk directly if you'd rather not watch some videos and stuff. So appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon.